Today's podcast is brought to you by itpro.tv. You can go to itpro.tv slash ring for some awesome stuff. Or you can stay and listen to this podcast for some <laughs> middling, <laughs> mind-numbingly stupid entertainment. I feel like if there's a demographic, that's right where we <laughs> Right where we like, land. Just look in Some, the middle. Somewhere between child who has been sent home from school and adult who is unwilling to work. <laughs> At that of... nexus, you will find us. Speaking of child... My daughter woke up this morning and came running out and looked at me and said, zombies aren't real, right? It was the first. And, and I, I thought, I sat, that, sat there for a minute. I was like, hmm. where do I take this? <laughs> do, do I ruin it or do yeah. I torment? Yeah, and I yeah, yeah. chose the correct road to reassure her that her brains are not going to be eaten in the near future unless she goes into a, I don't know, a pond and gets a... Some sort of brain right. eating amoeba. Sure. Yeah, don't tell her about that. Yeah, I'd probably ruin a couple other things. Yeah. Things that didn't get ruined though are Intel's earnings. They managed to I don't know what to make of Intel's mm. earnings. Um the uh, revenue and income literally were flat with the yep. Euro Go quarter. However, uh the PC business apparently had a record for unit sales which is kind of interesting like i don't quite understand in a quarter um i don't know maybe intel based piece i don't know but um maybe actually maybe that speaks a lot to amd and apple getting market share i don't know uh, but also was over 50 percent of the revenue so i know the data center business was down i mm -hmm. suspect that's why it was flat you know but the yeah the pc thing went pretty good pretty nope. good <laughs> This is Paul's headline, and I'm going to ask a question while reading the headline. HBO and HBO Max over, have over 67.5 million subscribers because 67.5 million people don't know the difference between HBO and HBO Max. And I'm <laughs> Exactly. Well, I mean, I think we can all agree this should only be one app. Um, mm -hmm. They'll probably get there. But I guess, you know, they have this, uh, the subscription service on cable and then a subscription service for streamers. So it's two services, but the same content. I wonder how many people have both. That would be uh, a ne the nexus of the world's stupidest people. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, you know what? I should talk. I so <laughs> Paul's about to a, reveal that he has. <laughs> no, I, I did. Well, no, I did something just as dumb. Like I, um, I, I, I'll try not to drag this up, but we, you know, we we have internet access through RCN, and when we moved here, the fastest access you could get was 330 megabits down and 30 up. You know, so that's what we got. But when we first got it, we got it with a TV package of some kind. I don't remember what it was. And then we kind of did a yo-yo thing. We went back and forth on whether we need cable or not. And, um, you know, for years now, we've just had streaming services. So the only thing we need is the Internet. So I canceled the TV. But I pay. I paid more each month for this inter the Internet only than I should be because I originally had TV. And mm -hmm. that's how they punish you, right? They're, you know. And so what I intended to do originally was wait six months or something and then say, all right, let's switch over to a internet only package every month. This is seriously, this tells you everything you need to know about men. I think in a nutshell compared to women, every day, my wife walks into my office every month. Sorry. We, the RCN bill comes in the mail and she puts the RC and she opens it and she puts it on my desk. So I see it. So I see how much it is because she knows I've said to her that I need to fix this and I never have. So years go by. And that's, <laughs> I called him yesterday. I got hung up on three times, dude, three, three times I got hung up on, but I finally found a person. I said, listen, I just feel like, oh, and this bill has gone up over time, right? So mm -hmm. now our bill is like $117 for just internet. And if you go to their website for $57 a month, you can get 940 megabits. So I was like, listen, I feel like I'm being grossly overcharged for the service I'm getting. And the woman goes, yeah, you are. <laughs> <laughs> she fixed it. So I didn't up the service, mm -hmm. um, but now I'm paying less than half what I was paying before. And maybe at some point in the future, I might look at upgrading the service. I don't know. So anyway, I told my wife and she goes, <laughs> this is what she said to me. Did you tell him to turn off paper? Did you tell him to turn on paper paperless billing? <laughs> and I was like. That's where no. they get you. That's $10 right there per and month. She's like, well, 
She goes, that was the real reason I kept bringing that into your office. She's like, I don't care how much we pay for the internet, but I don't understand why we're getting a piece of paper in the mail every month for something that's an electronic service. <laughs> I was like, I am the worst. So, yeah, HBO, HBO Max. I, yeah, I'd love to make fun of those people, and I will, but I will do that hypocritically because I'm an idiot. I will say <clears throat> the phrase I'm about to mutter is very rare, at least in the United States. Okay. I really like my internet provider. It's because we have, I'm well, sure I've said it before. It's because we have two options, like two yeah, hard line yeah. options. We have a fiber or the cable company and they compete. And it's, it's hilarious when that happens is that, you know, your price gets to a reasonable oh, you mean point. competition actually benefits yeah. the consumer. Interesting. Yeah. And like my, I, um, my bill hasn't gone up in, in many years. I probably could maybe even call and get it less, but I'm paying something like $51 yeah. for a gig down two up or 250 up. And right. I'm, that's fair. That's I, reasonable. I, I mean, I will say, you know, we had Fios in Massachusetts and I loved it. And if, live, I, if I lived there now, I would have a gigabit for sure. Uh, and it, it's a gig up, a gig down too. It's clean up mm -hmm. both, same direction, or both directions. Um, but, you know, my prices went up there too. And I, I actually switched to the Comcast for one year just to reset everything and go back to a lower price later on Fios, which I did. And, but to be fair to RCN, uh, my unique situation, but whatever. I mean, obviously, these companies are going to bill you as much as they can. Honestly, this service hasn't gone down once, other than the time my house was hit by lightning. Mm -hmm. And honestly, I, I, at that event, those guys showed up in the middle of a raging thunderstorm wh where we live in an area where the rivers flood and you cannot cross the river. I don't care what kind of vehicle you have. And you've seen the you may have probably seen some of the flooding pictures I've I've posted. These guys had one of those like industrial sized trucks with the with the tire is like mm. six feet tall. And I heard some vehicle pull up in front of my house during the storm, like a couple of days after the lightning thing. And I was like, there's no way that that can't be. And it was RCN. And I went down, I went out, I'm like, guys, I cannot believe you came to my house. And the, the guy was like, I'm so I, he goes, We found out you you've not had service for two days. We're really sorry. I was like, what? I, I mean, I just, so, I mean, they're, you know, cable companies are terrible, uh, you know, they can't help being terrible. But on the other hand, I mean, honestly, especially when you see the precarious nature of how the internet gets from the street to my house, it's crazy. It's literally like a, it's not a coax cable exactly, but it's like a coax cable. Maybe it is a coax. I don't know. It's thin. It's like, it's buried a, a foot into the ground. It's just, it's just like, I thought it was in like a, I imagined it was in some kind of a ceramic or maybe even, you know, actual pipe, like old fashioned mm -hmm. pipe. And uh, I, that's how I thought it was, I assume, because that's our electricity here. We don't have lines or anything around our house. Oh, um, that's nice. It's all underground. It's nice. But no, they just buried it in the yard. <laughs> like, that's the stupidest. Like, it's like something a kid would do. But anyway, it works. I don't know what to say. Well, there you go. I think the important yeah. thing is that it works. So. If you're thinking yeah. about other things that just work, you can head on over to itpro.tv slash ring if you would like. Uh, itpro.tv slash ring is an upskilling development platform. You can go there and learn more. They've got 5,800 hours or more of training, and it feels more like a conversation and less like a classroom. And as the world is headed full steam back into the hybrid world, you can go upskill yourself, learn more, stay educated, and learn about everything that is new coming down the pipeline. And they are updated frequently, and you can check them out at itpro.tv slash ring. We'll find links in the descriptions of this podcast. Not in the description below. I like when YouTube guys are like, if you go up there and do the thing. I stopped or, saying you know. that because of you, because I didn't want to hear you. <laughs> right. Well, I appreciate it. Uh, Microsoft actually released two things. Well, like sort of yesterday. So we've got, <laughs> yeah. there's a new build of Windows 11 that, right. I, I don't know if this is true or not, but every PC that I've installed it on now has the Teams app or the, the new one that they said that was originally rolling out to a select group, but appears that... So Everybody yeah, the it. story was that was what was happening here, but that's what I've seen too. Yeah, yeah. it's just it's just there, and mm -hmm. you know, I think we can all agree it's whew, game changer. You know, it's incredible. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so that's I do like the simplicity. Yeah. I think it's mm -hmm. it, it the icon is right. It just says chat. You know, you can sync with your um, Skype or Outlook contacts if you want. Um, it's you know, I, I I haven't actually. Let me bring this up. Yeah, like you and I can chat. So. I can chat with you, but Raphael, who broke into this system a week ago, 
sent me a test message, which I figured if I didn't get it today, I was going to use his little hack. Mm -hmm. But I can't connect with him. I don't know. I think it's a. Um, I think it's a little. Yeah. So it is the same app that I, that leaked one that I got my paws on because it says that little yeah. R four up there. I don't know what that means, but revision four. I don't know. Yeah, and you and I, uh, you you had started a. You just sent a, te a test message, mm -hmm. and um, it works. Yeah, it works. So I don't know how – I don't know, like, the thing – like, how are we connected? Like, what's your – what account did you even send that from? Do you even know? Um, well, you just sent it back. So that's – oh, interesting. No, I, like, I don't know. I, like, I, I assume this is, like, what used to be our – like, or what we think of as our Skype account. Yeah, right? it's – mine is my MSA, so it's just – yeah, it yeah. should be. Yeah, okay, right, same. Okay, yeah, that's what I was kind of wondering. All right. So, Yeah. Uh, Outlook, there's also a new version of that with an updated password manager that can tell you if your password has been, or uh, Edge, edge yeah. whatever it is. Yeah. <coughs> Internet Explorer has been updated uh, with a new password manager, 92. <laughs> it's a password health monitor, which actually, well, mm -hmm. I'm sorry, they already had a pass, did they? Yeah, no, they, they had, a, they had a basic password health. manager, yeah. They had a, a, a yeah, a, ma a manager for um, vulnerabilities. So if your password has shown up in a site somewhere or whatever, they'll, they'll, they would tell you that. Now... If you go through your list of passwords, they give you a little health meter. So it's one, two, three, or bang for big problem. Mm -hmm. um, and one bang, one uh, a rating, a one dash, or whatever you want to call that thing, is um, uh, I think it's actually pretty smart. It's you've not only is this a weak password, but you're reusing it on multiple sites, right? Smart. So I don't know how many passwords you have on Edge, but I have to have several hundred. And I got to tell you, the notion of going through this list and fixing things is a little daunting but mm. um but you know better late than never and that's one password does this as well for those who use it so i don't use the edge password manager uh, right. at, at all and oh no the fact that like a third party password manager would already have this is not surprising mm -hmm. right i mean yeah because this is free these things are sometimes paid they're they've been around for a long time they're more full featured but mm -hmm. you know, google and microsoft both are doing a pretty good job of bolstering yep the password managers in their browsers i mean um, I do happen to use Edge now for password management, but um, yeah, it's not there. But I feel like it's gonna, you know, eventually it'll probably be. It'll be like Windows Defender. It'll be what most people need. You mm -hmm. know? Yeah, I think that's a pretty fair assessment. Yeah. And then there's also a bunch of new flight simulator hardware coming out that I suspect I might be buying something eventually. Just. Yeah, I'm gonna have to I'll see what flight simulator is like. I'm not really. It's not really Call of Duty, so I'm not sure I'm going to react to it. Yeah, that's uh, why it's called Flight Simulator. <laughs> yeah, no, I understand. <laughs> what you should do is but get Is there these... a sequence where can I board a plane and shoot terrorists or something? Is that part of it? Maybe during a flight from like Denver to Boston? Or... What you should do is buy one of these things and then see if you can play Call of Duty with it. <laughs> I'm just sitting there. Just... <laughs> <laughs> What's up with Robot Boy over there? Yeah. I think... He'll be the guy running around in a circle shooting up straight in the air like an idiot. As if that's different than usual. <laughs> Anyways, folks, that wraps it up for today. Make sure to head on over to itpro.tv slash ring, and we'll catch all of you right back here next week. Yes, we will. Sure.